Welcome to Barbaria. So with the walls and roof on my house, I'm going to still do a little bit over there, I am going to head over and get some dark wood, but I'm thinking that when I get back, I'm going to want to build a farm. So I think that maybe before I do that, I am going to run downstairs and get a few more fence posts out of my mine. There's still a lot of that in here. I think I got everything out of here. Yeah. Okay. still a spawner down there. So there's still a good chance that we're going to have poisonous spiders coming up that way. So maybe I'll head this direction instead. Not that it's a lot safer over here. is a little safer. Got my ears peeled for bad guys. He probably didn't survive that. Well, maybe he did. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those guys. Seven should be enough. This is not the main point in today's endeavor. What to do, what to do.
Let's see if I can find this uh, noisy neighbor of mine. Sounds like I'm right next to them. mine. So I wonder if they're underneath me? That seems to have shut him up. Well, that's not how the game is played. Of course, now I can't get over there my fabulous prizes. Another one down there. Anyone else? What about you? Hmm? I think you're tough. Yeah. Alright, fine. Enough of that. incredibly harrowing. A little extra light up there. So I don't think I've been over to that part yet. bit wary of shift, so I'm uh, going to be ginger around the edge here. But I think that answers that question.
let's see how close we are today. Hey, it's practically morning already. Maybe we should wait for this dude to burst into flame. Or I could just take him out now. Okay, I don't see any creepers. But that's always the trick, isn't it? You never really see them. Usually you hear them first. another skeleton. Oh, well. I don't like that noise. That numbing sound is just kinda... Hmm. I don't want to uh, tick that Enderman off. They were supposed to burn up in the sunlight. you go, my friend. Alright, no big deal. That is a wee little ravine right there. Okay, so there's some dark trees. Good, 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 good. And, okay, so the river cuts through the ravine. Fascinating. Let's get up top here, make sure that there's no surprises waiting for me. All right. I get some wood, but just as importantly, I gotta try to get me some um, uh, er, uh, er, spit it out um, saplings, so that I can grow these a little closer to home. That's, that's not much of a walk, but you know, better to have them right in the backyard. I may even take some back to the old home. For the sake of having them in my tree farm. Although, I don't intend to spend enough time over there to make that worthwhile. The trees would never actually grow.
This is also my first recording made in Minecraft 1.0.0. Feels there should be a little fanfare or something. Burr, 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 burr. It's cool, you know, after all this time. Um, I don't know, how long has it uh, been in development? Over a year, easily. Uh, I'm not sure the exact numbers. But think about that. Beta software. Four million copies of beta, of beta software sold. For money. People paid money for software to join a beta test. Paid money for the privilege of testing the software. That's wild. Makes me feel like back in the day with, like, id software releasing shareware versions of the first chapters of their games uh, you know you don't have to pay for software until it's proven that it's worth it it's cool it's like a whole new I don't know if I want to call it a whole new era of uh, game design or game development but it's certainly something cool somebody who's been following the PC gaming industry for ugh, uh, almost 30 years. Had a VIC-20 back in 1984. And that sort of started the whole deal. But the real clincher was 2000 and, uh, or sorry, not 2000, 1989. It was 84. Uh, not 2004, 84 that I had a VIC-20. Um, but in 89, for Christmas, we got a Tandy 1000. Oh, man. Space Quest. Yeah. Yeah, Sierra is uh, probably the reason that I am where I am today. Got me into computers. Computers got me into fixing computers. Um, and back then you had to know how the things worked just to be able to work them. Um, back in my day, you can get off my lawn, no, but um, seriously, it was no small task to play computer games back in the day. Times when I had to, like, alter system files to get the last, like, two bytes of RAM available so I could load a mouse driver and still play a Sierra game. Yeah, the uh, the classic Sierra boot disc. Good times. Different times. Well, then the uh, idea of, of A-list titles came around. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I, uh, I love me some big name games. Um, I haven't played, uh, I haven't played Skyrim. I don't know, I might get it when it's cheap. But, uh, the current incarnation of the Fallout franchise? Oh yeah, yeah. Count me in. I love what Bethesda has done with that property. It's just wicked. New Vegas is every bit the successor to Fallout 2 that I had hoped Fallout 3 would be. Um, and I'm a big fan of the Fallout franchise. Like, back, oh, um, 13, 14 years ago now was when number 2 came out. Long time ago in gaming terms. And personally, I think Fallout 2 is the best role-playing game that's ever been written for PC. And New Vegas was, oh, it it was funny, it was fun, it was just everything that a Fallout game should be, in my opinion. Okay, I'm going to break some of this grass up. Because I'm going to put my farm over sort of here-ish. Do, 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 do. 
So yeah, if you've never played uh, Fallout 2, it's, um, I think Steam has it. I know you can get it on good old games, GOG.com. Uh, absolutely worth the, the five or six bucks or whatever it is they're charging for it now. R-rated game. You've been warmed. I only recommend it to my adult subscribers. Or at any rate, my uh, legally considered to be adult subscribers. Hmm. Yeah, that should do. I want a, a bit of lawn space here for my house, but let's see. I want to do it one out so I don't have things jumping over my walls. this one. I'm going to need to get inside soon, aren't I? One, two, three, four. Yep. And one, two, three, four. And right there is going to be the other corner post. So as the sun sets, I think that, uh, okay, that's the moon rising. As the moon rises, I think that pretty much does it on this day in Barbaria. So I'm going to head downstairs, have a nap, and come back up and continue with this. But that's a task for another day. Ciao.